Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas and today I want to show you how you guys can build out amazing designs in Revit. And I'll show you guys how to do this in a step-by-step -step tutorial in this video so you can get started with building out a nicely designed project in Revit as soon as possible. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. But actually before we dive into this video, I'd love to invite you guys to my Discord community. We are a bunch of different startup founders, designers, developers from all around the world. And we get together every single weekday to do different types of calls. We do like calls about different tools, different topics, different life challenges that we're facing. So if you guys are interested in joining that, feel free to join. Link is down in the description below. So in Revit, it all starts off with a prompt box. In this case, I want to create some type of app that allows me to, you know, that helps me answer a bunch of YouTube comments. I get a lot of YouTube comments and some of them, you know, gets brushed away. I never see them because there are just so many coming in in different videos. And I would like some some centralized place where I can view all the comments. I can it can help me answer it in different tones and it can also like suggest other types of videos based on that question because maybe I have a specific question and I have an existing video that can help them with that specific question. And then I want to use the let's click on slash and let's just scroll down and look for a YouTube integration to connect my account, right? So this is also another nice thing that I like about Replit, this, this slash thing. And now we can add some type of theme, right? So I'm thinking, let's go to manage themes. And here we have different themes. We can like edit the specific themes in a certain way. We can make the text color white. We can make the muted background like dark and muted text also like white like this. But in this case, we can just choose one of these default themes. I'm gonna choose this quadratic theme and let's go ahead and start this, this this chat. And while this starts, it's asking me to connect my YouTube. So let's go ahead and do that. And then it gives us a, a list we, to build out the entire app or to start with the design. Let's go ahead and start with the design first. So just to kind of get a look and feel of how it would actually look like before it actually builds out the whole thing. And while this loads up, while this cooks, let's go and look at my own website. So this is my kind of style. I do have to change a bunch of things. I don't really do some of these things anymore, but I have to change some of these things, but I like the overall style. It's very dark, you know, uh, it's very simple. I like this kind of grid style over here. And wouldn't it be nice to maintain the same style and apply the same effect to my app that I'm building? So what we can do is we can open the Magic Path Web Capture Chrome extension, and then we can just capture this entire page like so. Click on Copy com Component, and then we can go into Magic Path and we can just simply paste this in like that. And once this finishes generating, we get a actual finished component like looking like this. It's actually completely responsive, which is pretty crazy. And what we can do is we can select this style. We can select this component that it generated and then apply that same um, prompt that we gave Replit before, which was to generate this new type of app. So I can just go ahead and click this and then paste this comment in here. All right, and if we go back to Replit, we get something like this. Obviously, we chose this specific theme. We can edit the theme to however we want, but it's it's gonna take some time to do that to match to your, exa to your exact style, obviously. But if we go back into Magic Path, right, this is the original design for my website, and then we get something like this. So it's looking very similar to, to my actual brand style. And if I were to, for example, click on one of these, you can see that it's replying to this specific message. I can choose a tone. I can, you know, use one of these reference videos. Obviously, these don't exist. These are this is just like a front, right? These these um, videos are just like a you know a facade. But eventually, it will bring this into Replit and make it actually real. And you can also make a few edits. Like as you can see, I turned this into a grid. I can remove this little SVG icon over here. You know, I can edit some of the text. So made with love for. I can say instead of content creators for me, right? Because this is my app and then we can just click on save. And then once we're ready to bring this into, into Replit, what we can do is we can get the code like this and we can either download the code base or we can just open it inside of Cursor. Eventually the goal is to bring this into GitHub as its own GitHub repository. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open it in Cursor first. So I'm gonna copy this command and then we're gonna open the terminal. And once the terminal is ready, we're going to just paste this command in like this, and I'm going to save it in, in my downloads. We're going to call this YouTube, YouTube app, click on enter, and we're going to click on enter for cursor. And so this is now inside of cursor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, push this 
to GitHub. All right, so now the final step here in cursor is it says changes committed to push to GitHub. I need the repository URL. So we need, we need to create a repository inside of GitHub. So when you're in GitHub, you can just click on new and we can call this one like YouTube, YouTube app. We can click on create repository. So, and now we have our YouTube app repository. So I'm going to go back into cursor and paste in that URL. So I'm just going to go, whoops, paste. All right. And now it says that it has pushed the code to GitHub. So we can click on this URL and we can see that our code is here. So that's, that's great. That's the first thing that we need to do. And now we can just go back into the cursor website and we can go ahead and copy this, this URL over here. And what we can do is we can just basically just paste it after the repit.com slash click on enter. And it's going to immediately start importing from, from um, GitHub to Replit. So we can go ahead and click on, you know, we want to make this public import from GitHub. All right. And now we get our app here inside of Repit. So that's looking great. So if I click on this, we can see that we have our different comments and different ways to, to respond to these comments. And what's really cool about Magic Path is that you can, you know, start off with your main design that you have from, from before you create this YouTube comments thing that we did, that we just uh, did right now. And then you can create other types of tools, like internal tools, like a newsletter manager, where you can send out or you can add a specific list of emails. You can create templates for your emails. You can create new campaigns for your emails, like, like over here, all with the same design. And not only that, but you can even create like other types of tools. Like, for example, if I have a community, which I do, by the way, you can join, like the link is down in the description below, but you can basically like create like community uh, projects like this. For example, people can upload their project and you can read about it. You can comment it. You can upvote the project, for example. And again, you can bring this all into Repit and make it actually actually like real instead of having to go to like something like Cursor. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. And like always, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you next time. Goodbye.